in the unlisted market and if you look at it the last week they filed uh, updated our drhp with three with the SEBI and the fresh issue, if you look at it, that comes in at almost 3,750 crore rupees. As per our calculations, the OF is likely to be around 6,500 to 7,000 crore rupees as per the unlisted deals. Now, of course, the key buyers over here in the pre-IPO space, that is something to look out for. And starry investor circle is something which we have put. Amitabh Bachchan, Madhuri Dukshit, Rahul Dravid, and even Zahir Khan have made it to the list. And also there are some folks, not from the Bollywood, but from the sports also, that includes Rohan Bopana as well. Now let's look at how Zomato and Swiggy have panned out and we have taken their updated numbers from the DRHP also and we have tried to compare them. Overall the metrics if you look at it, Zomato is at the higher side of almost 12,114 crore rupees. Pat numbers is something to look at that is still not profitable when it comes to Swiggy but Zomato itself they have turned profitable as well. These are the FY24 metrics. Average order value remains almost the same when it comes for both of them. If you look at the Q1 numbers, now that's the new numbers which we are talking about. Over here also, Zomato is having a higher share in terms of revenue and it is still profitable and Swiggy still has posted its losses of almost 611 crore rupees. Also now let's look at how the valuations in the unlisted market have spanned out. It's expected to be around 15 to 18 billion dollars post-listing. That's the numbers that are coming in the IPO numbers for Zomato. Current numbers, it was earlier 31 billion dollars but over the last four trading sessions, the stock is down 8%. So that is an interesting data point which we have picked out. Now let's look at the growth numbers, how it's panning out. Zomato and Swiggy, especially the food delivery GOV numbers, which is the gross order value. Over here also Zomato takes the cake. And also looking at the other user metrics also, apart from the food delivery, we have the quick commerce, the dark store growth itself. That is also very aggressive when it comes to Zomato. So a lot of operational parameters which I discussed right now, that is where Zomato is getting the edge and also when it comes to the market share as well. Lastly, the brokerage take also is something I like to point out which came today. CLSC has maintained an outperform rating. Target price is 284, but for the time being, Zomato remains the top pick in the food delivery space and they have gained metrics across in FI24 and the first quarter of FI25. And interestingly, a very strong statement has come. QSRs are losing market share to aggregators. Now, that is a trend which has been caught by CLSA. But however, the one point they have added is that Swiggy will be well positioned once it gets its funding gap filled. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.